situated in the county of Cheshire, Michael Trafford is a Grade 2 listed water mill. Whilst no longer in use, it's documented that as far back as the 13th century, a water mill was stood on this site. Visitors come from all over Europe to see the oldest water mill wheel still in existence, which predates the Victorian era. Whilst the current water mill was built in the 18th century, the foundations it stands on go back to the medieval times. With such a long and varied history on this site, haunted scouts were given the great privilege of spending one whole night at Mickle Trafford Mill. Many of the original workings and tools still residing on this site would we be able to make contact with any of the former workers of the mill? After decades of neglect, the Friends of Trafford Mill Charitable Trust was set up. The volunteers worked tirelessly to maintain the building and open its doors throughout the year to visitors. With our cameras set up covering the whole building, it was now time to investigate Mickle Trafford Mill. Right, so episode mode now, isn't it? Uh, yeah, here at uh, Michael Trafford Mill, uh, we just turned the camera on. We've uh, closed the door to the base room, and yeah, we've got this whole building to ourselves for the entire night. Um, we have. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, now got a little bit of a different feel. Now we're in night vision, um, just looking over our shoulder where we can see surprisingly nothing. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, yeah, looking forward to this. Um, you know, really historic building, uh, a lot of history to it. We don't know that much about it, really. Um, what well, hopefully we will see some bit scroll along the bottom if it is relevant, because uh, we will find out after we've done the investigation uh, certain names and dates associated with the building. Yeah, because that's what we've asked. I've had a full walk around here with, uh, with one of the trustees to the to the mill, Keris, and... Um, and the agreement was, I'm getting no information whatsoever, but that will be interesting to see if we come up with anything that's relevant. So, yeah, best way to come up with any relevance is to uh, crack on and let's get investigating, guys.
didn't notice that out the corner yeah, of my eye. the light was getting. And it hadn't moved. Oh, no, it might be a. I think it's just. It might be a draft. Just a bit of a draft. I assume it's a draft. Unless it's someone going, yeah, welcome, and not getting out. <laughs> yeah. But I don't think we'll, uh, yeah. Okay, good start. Yeah, an area that we haven't got a camera on, but. I might have my face, I can't see nothing, you got the camera. I know, that's what I'm just, I can't see anything because I'm looking into the camera. Mind your head, signs above our heads, but you know we're going to smash our heads. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's strange because, oh God. Do you know what? Where's that light go off? From the other room. Do you know, like do you know, when, you, when you look through there? Yeah. And you can see all the way through down into the room now. It actually looks like someone stood there. See at the it's far end. The there. Yeah. But it looks like there's someone stood there. <laughs> let's, let's just zoom in to make sure there isn't someone stood there. What is that? That's my stomach, you can hear, but... Oh, it's the corner of the beam. I thought it was a door. I was going to say, why is the door got a curvature on it? Yeah, it's... Yeah, okay. It's one of the beams going right up there. But... Good use of the zoom there to see what we were walking into anyway, you can see how far away that is guys. So, uh, yeah, I have a couple of little through rooms, but just behind here, um, this is it now, it's, uh, it's sort of go time and obviously back uh, back then, this is where people would have walked through uh, to then sort of sign into work and the actual original signing station is just around this side of the door, so I think we best go and check in for the night. Yeah, exactly. Come on, let's go and sign ourselves in. Have a look at these. You can hear the REM pod downstairs is actually going on. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming off the tether, isn't it? Right. I haven't even checked in yet. <laughs> we have got a camera on that one, haven't we? We have, yeah. That sounds like proximity as well. It does. Good start. Well, mm. Yeah, I mean, while, while we're up here, this is sort of what we've been talking about. Now, what's that one? Right, it's okay. So, again, this is. I mean, to do welcome shots. to the mill. <laughs> And I mean, how great was that? That it was uh, the one downstairs immediately followed by the one upstairs as well. And they may be able to hear, we've got wind and we've got yeah. rain now as well. It was a very spooky night, isn't it? It is. <laughs> but what I was trying to show you was there is even, they even found some uh, some old packs of senior service that were when they were doing some renovations, some tidying up. But there's the original desk where the foreman would have signed the, the workers in and out and marked off what they'd done for the day. And yeah, there's a skylight there. But it's a, a bit of typical haunted Scottish weather now. Yeah, it's, well, I think it's definitely sort of setting the mood. Like we've only just stepped foot, uh, stepped foot in, and yeah, the temperatures are going on around Bob, and things are beeping, and maybe proximity. Um, I'll speak up because the, uh, the heavens have opened, and yeah, it's kind of like we're stuck here now. So I know. Tell you one thing though, I'm glad we turned the cars around to face going out before we, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we might be, I might be swimming home.
If that was you that's just been standing next to one of those boxes on the floor, can you maybe do that again or come towards us? We don't mean you any harm. We're not in charge, we've just come to see if we can have a job. Do you have any jobs for us? Maybe if we move through you can stop us in an area where you want us to do some work. Which one's that? That, that That's one? Right. The one's much further. Thank you. So that's where you want us to work. Okay, let's, uh, no, no. let's go through that and um, yeah, let's make a start. Okay, so if you do want to talk to us or communicate with us in any way, please do. We don't mean any harm, any disrespect. Perhaps you can maybe make a noise and show us where you are. Maybe like you have possibly already gone towards one of the devices that are on the floor. They won't harm you or hurt you in any way. It's just a means of communication. If you just go near them, they'll light up lots of different colours. Maybe stand near them and they'll go all the way up to red, they'll light up different colours. Are you perhaps speaking to somebody who used to work here? If we are, maybe you can give us some sort of sign. Maybe you can try and make a noise. Maybe bang on something or tap on something. Maybe you used to live here, and this was your home. That flicking them? I'm not sure. It's, yeah. it's hard to because I've got the LCD screen yeah. as well. So I just walked away and thought it was a bit of a flick. Flicking. Well, I've made a picture. Yeah. So maybe you're uh, you're getting to grips with how. The, uh, the pieces of equipment work, if you go and stand near them, say they'll just make a few bits of noise, they'll light up, they won't do you any harm. Thank you. You go closer to that device, it's on the floor, it'll go all the way up to red, if you stand near it, or maybe you hold it, or if you can grab it. Maybe if you can touch it or push it over. If there is anybody else anywhere in the building that does want to make themselves known, we're going to be here for a while. 
We know there's a lot of history attached to this building. Maybe you could just tell us what your story is and why you're here. Maybe what you did when you were here. Francis, are you still here? If you are, could you give us some sort of sign that you're still up here with us? Yeah, it's got a little bit of interaction there. Well, so there's not a slight flick on the K2 there, but... Um, yeah. It's a good good sort of start, I mean, we've lit... That's downstairs. That's downstairs now. Yeah, just to show guys, it's not that one. I mean, you can... Actually... Show a sort of thought when you're walking through. Yeah, you can see the, the top of the ramp up there. Yeah. Yeah, so it is temperature at the moment. So there's a cap all flashing down there as well. So it's it's uh, simmering nicely yeah. down there then. It is. <laughs> it's so I'm sure it's in that room with it as well. It must be right next to it. The great camera in the layer of my ass. <laughs> I'm I'm cutting that out by the way, but uh, you know, I was just uh, you know. Okay, on that one. <laughs> but no, down there most definitely. There's a cap all flashing right now. Oh, okay. Oh, and then back up here. Okay, thank you. Sometimes, like, I mean, I know sometimes, like, the temperature on it can be frustrating, but a lot of the time, within that temperature fluctuation, you can just get a little bit of a jump to green. Yeah, but the temperature's got to fluctuate a couple of degrees as well, though. Yeah. So, so you're not talking like a breeze going across it that's setting that off? No, no, it's, I mean, it's windy and rainy, like, but we're well inside. But we no can't, I can't, there's no draft. No, not at all. I mean, there's a few bits. Oh, hello. This, this hello. It seems to be bouncing from one, one to the other. There's the K2 to, to the rim part. Oh, are you a bug? Maybe. Followed it all the way across from you, but I think it was a bug. So I think we can stamp debunked up on the screen there. But the few bits of dust that I have seen have fell straight down. Yeah. And that just shows there's no draft. Oh, hang on, that was strange. Something's just gone across in front of you that that was like that was larger and was quicker. And that just shows there's no draft. Uh, because I am seeing, sorry mate, I am seeing a lot of bugs and dust. But one thing's just gone like waist height past you, but it was more of a curve, but larger, like football size. And woof. interesting to see if that yeah if that one's picked it up. Um, and uh, again, whilst you are looking on the channel, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button as well, and make sure you smash the thumbs up now. And we'll wait for you. There you go. And uh, yeah, hit the notification bell as well. Um, but yeah, let's maybe go through the next box. Yeah. Right guys, so seeing as we've got some REM pod activity both on this floor and below, which is just down those stairs there, I can see the K2 flicking, which will be on that lock-off camera. We're going to do an S-Box session and see if we can make contact with, with whoever is up here and seemingly interacting like that. <laughs> so whilst that's going on, let's, let's crack on. Thank you. 
that's the name compared to what's here. Maybe try and give us your name or a name associated to the building. Flashes down here mm. and see flashes through there. But I'm kind of thinking we kind of break with tradition of how we do things here. I don't know about you, mate, but it seems like we, we might be missing out by not down a level. going down a level. Yeah. So I think what we'll do, guys, we'll head down these stairs and we're going to go down a level because I can see cat balls flashing <laughs> down here and I can see through because there's holes in the wall. I can see cat balls flashing. We've got a consistent alarm going. Yeah, I think let's uh, move downstairs, mate. Mm. Okay, so who's going off the set there as well? Okay, we're going to move downstairs. Oh, there we go. Hello. Hi. Maybe you've been waiting for us down here. Yeah. Yes, thank you. We're sorry we took so long. Maybe you 
can ask your colleague to move away from the device upstairs and come down here with us. That's so strange for the temperature mm -hmm. fluctuation to go constantly like that. It stopped and it started again. Cat ball again. Oh. oh and now. <laughs> Hi. It's definitely building. Yeah. That was that one doing the constant. Yeah. Wow. We've never had that before. <laughs> I mean, the whole point of a temperature fluctuation is it fluctuates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's so so constant. But just to be thorough, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna nip upstairs and reset the temperature on that one. Wow, cap okay, cap ball on that. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna nip upstairs and reset that one because we do want to make sure that we we're seen to be trying to make sure that the yeah. equipment is behaving as it as it should. Because we know many of you guys know how to use it too. Right, so I'll just stay down here with you then. Okay. Hi, whoever's down here. Oh, it's just in upstairs. Seeing like little lights on the floor there, panicked. <laughs> <laughs> That's reset now, and I'm on the other camera resetting it. Sound. Is it quite a bad chicken going to come in this way? Yeah, that could be in there because. Strange start, isn't it? It is, it is. I mean, literally, it's been like, because it's so dark, guys, and again, it's hard for those of you that have been on events with us will know when it's dark, it's so dark, and this is one of them places that, you know, we've got some light coming from the M56, which is way over there, but it's not enough to light this place up. And we're not ignoring the fact that there's a cat ball going off either. It's just we're trying to acclim acclimatise ourselves in to the ether of the building. Like we don't know what, we don't know what century we're currently standing in. That's, that's the intriguing thing with this guys. It, we've been told that this could have history on this site going right back a thousand years. Which is just mind boggling. So what century are we interacting with here? Is it one different one? Is, is it one single century or is it different centuries? That's the mindset you've got to have as a paranormal investigator of you're digging into history. Massively raining dust as well. In fact, there's so many like oh, there's orbs, there's orbs. Yeah. There is a lot of dust. Um, so, but just obviously take note of it because some. Some does move a little bit more interestingly than others. Cap all in there, right? There's a lock off cameras in there as well. Thank you. Okay, so clearly someone is down here, maybe moving around, and wants us to move, move through. Yeah. Yeah, 
Thank you. Okay. So are we perhaps talking to somebody who used to work here? If you worked here, maybe you could give us some sort of sign that you did and that you're still here now. Can you move something? Tap on something? Maybe you lived here? Maybe your family was here? Such a quiet place, don't yeah, we? Yeah, definitely. The two no. guys, if we're going to hear any audible noises tonight, we are going to yeah. know that there's no other explanation for them because it's so quiet. That's why we can hear the kick going off, wherever it is. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to be kind of like, it's a, it's a good episode so far. It's, it's, it's making us switch the camera from one to the other. Camera wall again. Thank you. Okay, so, I'm assuming you are in here. You are lighting up the equipment, so yeah, okay. So maybe if we put another device on that maybe has some words in, and we can that's me, we can try and have a conversation. I know when we were down here before, you, we've used this device, yeah, and we had an intelligent conversation. Maybe we could try again. Maybe you could tell us who you are, what your name is, and maybe why you're here. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it's very interactive on, on this, this floor. Tonight, yeah, this yeah. level is just. Yeah, I know it's a bit of a pain, but I don't. I like to put it down and just move away from it. So yeah. I don't think I'm doing anything with it or typing things in. As you know, it's the Spirit Talker um, that a lot of teams do use. So it's just got a word database in, um, and it said that spirits can manipulate frequencies and can use the Secrets surrounding my death. Wow. Um, okay, <laughs> that that's, yeah, that's new. And as you can see, you can. Uh, can use words to maybe try and have a conversation. So, secrets surrounding my death. Okay, so did you maybe die here? Maybe not in this mill, but maybe in the surrounding area? Maybe there was some sort of accident that was kept quiet because maybe that would have shut the mill down would have maybe cost money. So maybe it was all hushed up. And no one knows what actually happened to you. Maybe you could give us your name. We can maybe try and look into that. Or if there are any other spirits here, if you want to come communicate with us, there's lots of equipment here, lots of devices. Maybe you can give us a year that you passed over. Well, I mean, that's maybe assuming that we know that they're dead. Victorian. Wow. Oh, okay. Victorian. Okay. Highly relevant for here. Most definitely. That's not often that happens. We actually come to an area at a time period that we yeah. sort of think, you know what, wouldn't that be great to get out? Um, but yeah, it's uh, 
That's brilliant. Okay, well, so that's it. The whole point is, we know this was this was a very very active mill in the Victorian era because people come from far and wide yeah. to see the mill at the far end because it's pre-Victorian. Okay, so maybe that was um, the period that you were alive, or maybe worked here, or lived here. You seem familiar. You may recognise us from a small YouTube channel called Haunted Scouts. <laughs> um, or maybe it's somebody that we've spoken to before, and you're just sort of following us around and like to communicate with us. So, and if that is you, it's fine. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, maybe somebody knows how to use the equipment. Maybe you could talk to the spirits that are here and see if they can come forward and have a conversation with us. My stomach. Did something happen to you? Maybe a, an illness? It sort of starts off with a cat ball and then you flick on a K2 and then a bit of REM pod. It's like kind of just walking through yeah. and passing through each one. So it's not like we have that all three sort of going off at the same time. Those seem to be like going you know, do, do, do. And it's also interesting that that one upstairs is sort of stopped as well. Yeah, exactly. And even the cat balls, since we've come through here. That's, yeah, that's what I was thinking, because that was, I mean, that one in there was going quite a lot, wasn't it? Yeah. And then obviously it's lit up in here, and we move through. And, I don't know, maybe it's just sort of building. Glad. Glad. <laughs> Lad. Yeah. Lad. 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 Maybe, uh... Well, I mean, didn't we get something through? I know it was early, it was in a different thing, it was in the live, but it was something about someone, about the uh, the boy. Yeah, there was a lot of, uh, a lot of sort of interaction on that, about maybe being a, a small boy, or yeah. Matthew, I think, possibly was the name that we sort of mentioned, but it was definitely more of a stronger um, sort of family link. Um, down here and I mean we could be miles away we could be like well no no one ever lived here and um, but I don't know maybe we're sort of picking up on something on the grounds or maybe something further maybe there was houses sort of attached to here yeah maybe it's just some sort of energy that is kind of you know on the on the site itself well, who knows So if there is anybody that does want to come and talk to us, please do. If you do want to communicate by the devices that are on the floor, or on the stairs, or anywhere in the building, please go near them. And they'll light Go right. It. Go right. Oh, it's only made my back start. Yeah, it's already. I like to play games. Wow, okay. So go right. Go right. I like That's to. Stairs, isn't it? Yeah. Go right as in down. Was that K2 then? I don't think so. And go right as downstairs as well into that other little room. I move things. Well, okay. Well, there's starting to. Okay, so can you maybe try and move something now for us, please? Maybe move something anywhere in the building so we know that you're here. We put lots of equipment down. Please go and move something that we have put down. Maybe something that looks a little bit unfamiliar to the building that doesn't usually belong here. So maybe go and stand near it or kick it or push it or touch it. Just so we know where you are. I was cremated. Strange one that I was cremated. It's like it, it's one of them things where it it doesn't seem relevant. Mm. Okay, it's just like no sort of. Mm. 
but who knows how it works. But are we talking to people that are here now or talking to. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Spirits sort of follow you around. Is it just yeah. someone attached to all of us? And, or maybe you can try and give us a name. You haven't had any names yet. Cancer. 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 I don't really want to say this, but do you mean like saying is there someone who follows us round? Mm. And I was thinking of my dad then. Because he was cremated and unfortunately lost my dad to cancer. Wow. And we have had that before with my dad. But my dad I was known as Ronnie's lad and we've just had a lad through. We had Francis earlier on, which is my dad's middle name. So if you can find your first name in there, Dad, and prove it is you, please do. But I know some people might say we're scratching around the relevance, but this whole idea that we can't have spirits that follow us around, because how many times do we get out of there, I recognise you or yeah. you look familiar? Which it did. Which it did, actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, funnily enough, yeah. But it's nice, that's a lot of people might know that, you know, there's quite a few times they've heard me say I do have protective spirits, and I know I do. But the cat balls have stopped. Yeah. That's strange. that's a strange thing. Since we when we were upstairs, all you could see was cat balls flashing. No, without me, it's just myself. Back through here. Yeah. There's another one. There's one more room. There's another one. 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 There's another for our own safety as well. That noise you can hear is that cabinet. It must have something inside it. Maybe try and tap on something or bang on something, just let us know that you're here. Sun. No way. Did that just say sun? Saying you'll potentially. Again, there's a we sort of got a bit of a family kind of link before as well with what was happening before, but obviously it's quite relevant to what you were just talking about a minute yeah. ago. So. sounds daft guys and people that watch that that don't really believe that you can have a spirit that follows you around but literally the things that came through there that were relevant and and, and I apologize it's not a 
I don't mind this being on camera because this is who I am. But I'm not saying that it is my dad that's with us tonight. We could need time. Yes, I do. And if it is you, Dad, ah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not saying it is my dad, but there's so much relevance that's just come through that relates directly to me. And, and I've said it before, we've had it in Bidston Hill. And it, it, was, it was his first name and his second name. And then what's the relation? Lad. I am Ronnie's lad. But, um, it's strange though that when you, you come further away from sort of where you live, closer to my side, that that sort of happens. Yeah. You'd think it would be more on your side, that it. Yeah. Uh, He's coming with me for the free drive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'd say that's why I started to put the camera back. I don't want to. I don't want to hide this because this is why we do the investigations. Um, because you never know what you're going to come in touch with and in, who you're going to come into contact with. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm okay now. Yeah. So yeah, so it stairs that way. Yeah. It did say go right, didn't it? So. It did say go right. But again, it just shows you we just clump down there, and then cap balls yeah. don't go off. Nope. And you got your torch there. Yeah. So. I've been back at the ancient round. Husband. There, huh? oh. Husband. Okay. okay. Now we have been asking about the family mm -hmm. living here. So you're down here with us now. You said go right. This would have been where it would have led us to. Ow. Or something like that. Anyway. <laughs> That's the other thing with being where we are, guys. It's literally countryside around us. Right. So if this is a family, can you maybe try and give us your surname? Now we've got a cat ball going on up there, so I'll cut away to that. The minute we come out of shot. It's a creature. It's a creature. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, now that's going up again. But again, guys, I'll dual shot this. Where there may be a mouse that's doing that with the cat <laughs> ball now. <laughs> Someone shy doesn't want to sort of in the same. Oh yeah. God! Sorry, I, it's, it's like clearly someone shy doesn't want us in the same room. But I was looking that way, and then there's a pattern back. I just saw this face go out into the viewfinder. I'd like to come here. That's nice to know. If it was a place that you were happy, so it's very. Uh, it's a place of history, isn't it? And I suppose if you did sort of work here and all live here, it's sort of. Uh, Probably holds nice memories. Look, probably looks very different now uh, to us as maybe you saw it or maybe you're seeing it. Um, yeah, I mean, if you are here, can you maybe try and tap on something or maybe touch one of us? I was making noise. Just somewhere in this room, just so we know that you are here.
Jason. Jason. Jason? Christ, isn't Jason who met me tonight and gave me the keys? Was it? <laughs> sure it was. I, I, I just need to have a quick... Can I pass you the camera, yeah, Steph, mate? I just need to... My phone's in flight mode, guys, but I, I can check my messages. Yeah, Jason. <laughs> Okay, so you recognise Jason then? Yeah, Jason is the gentleman, he's, he's one of the custodians of this place who helps look after it. And he's the gentleman who's met me we here. We fight the darkness. Who's, who's met me here tonight to actually let me in and give me the keys. We fight the darkness. But yeah, so, I mean... Well, the thing is, we always say there's multiple spirits coming through all the time. Mm. So the fact that it's gone from Jason, which is highly relevant, yeah. and it's been a long time since we've had Jason through. Mm -hmm. You know, I think Rake Lane Cemetery was the last time because it bore relevance to both of us, is it your brother and, yeah, brother and my and my cousin. Mm. So that's the last time Jason <laughs> came through, but there's relevance here. But then the fact that it comes through and says we fight the darkness afterwards does mean to say that you know Jason's fighting the good fight and uh, and you know, but another spirit could be coming through. Yeah. Okay, pick this up and come through. We have a last little time. Yeah. Here. Oh, oh, that's me standing on a cat ball. Colton. Colton, that's you want. I mean, I like to say it's uh, one of them sort of fancy, yeah, you know, sort of 20, 20 kind of names for, for kids, but I must bear some relevance. It sounds you know, sort of like a, I don't know, like a manufacturer or like a, yeah, you know, like a tool or a branded tool. Colton. Uh, Again, I'm just completely shooting in the dark there on that, 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 oh, that, you. that on that. Yeah, that's I've just yeah. done the same through there, mate. Um, but yeah, like a brand of machinery or something. Yeah, I'll tell you what, if, that, if that's true, that, that's brilliant. But again, no idea. What Colton. Basement holds darkness. <laughs> I mean, we're in the base of the building because there is no basement to it. But we fight the darkness. Basement holds darkness. We're Dark, in the base of the us. building. We're literally in the darkest part of it. I mean, they're not wrong. It does hold darkness because it's pitch black. I mean, just to show you that, guys, I'll switch the light off. And that's, that's it. That's what we can see. Nothingness. So it does hold the darkness. I think, uh, yeah, I think wind. 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 Yeah. yeah, definitely is correct. <laughs> definitely some intelligence who's uh, who's talking to us there. But um, yeah, I think we've done uh, pretty much most of the building now. Um, there'll probably be a little bit of uh, of something in a second where we'll put our heads together and come up with some sort of experiments. But obviously, if you like what you're seeing, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's just here. Okay and make sure that you've smashed that thumbs up. Hit the notification bell as well. And whilst you're here, stay on the channel and check out some more other videos as well. So this round up there, should we bring up there and put further back? Can do. I mean, uh, there's doing nothing there. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, it's not going to fucking talk like that. It's because it's not, it's not in the shop there now, is it? So. Five, yeah, I can't do it. It's just left to set five down. It's chilly now, man. That's tough. 
four bus. Really. Well, yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, five minutes. Ow, bastard. My God. Yeah. <laughs> you had? Yeah, it was just the back of So, just switch the camera back on guys and we've just been for a little break just to recharge our own batteries and let let everything build up again and we walk back in and the REM pod's going off again downstairs. And what I'm waiting for now is, remember when we first came in and they were both going, they'll be yeah. going from one to the other so now I'm expecting that one to, to start behind us. Anything, it's, uh, there it goes again. I think uh, let's get that next. I know. <laughs> Less haste, more speed. Got our attention. Is there anything you'd like to say or do for us while we're down here? Actually, we're going to go down again, but we'll stay here if you want to talk to us. What's flashing there? Flashing the K2. Is that the K2? Yeah. Christ, that was bright there. So, I mean, it was just green, so it's happened by assuming the K2. So you do want us to stay here? Put me to because there's a flight of stairs there. You just, thank you, yeah. So you're just trying to get our attention. <laughs> Very responsive. Well, we didn't leave, we just went to get some more kit and just take a bit of a break, but maybe try and go right up towards that device and make one of the lights go off. Maybe if you can come near it and do that, that'll be great. Upstairs was doing earlier on. Mm. So it's hard, obviously, that lock off will have captured the whole sort of sequence of it, but yeah. it seems to be quiet when they walk back in and then it's just kicking off again. You maybe try and do something else if that is you. Try and move something. Okay. 
we're going to go down the stairs now. We're going to go into the smaller room. So if you do want to follow us or still make yourself known, please do. There's a camera just set up in the corner there. Maybe you can try and walk past or let us hear your footsteps. And thank you for communicating with us. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go downstairs and maybe uh, see what this small room's got to offer. Yeah. Setting this up. <laughs> oh, Nearly like operation. That's better than the first time. Nice little hole in the wall. Nice little one. bonus extra. We've got a few cap walls uh, in here knocking about. But yeah, maybe let's uh, do something that we haven't done tonight, mate. And uh, let's go for an EVP. Yeah, let's try an EVP, guys. Maybe you can have an EVP, please, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping the merch link now. You know. <laughs> If there is anyone here with us, can you come towards my voice and maybe tell us your name? Can you tell us something about yourself? Did you work here? Did you die here? Were you happy here? Tell us something about yourself. Did you work here? Did you die here? No, nothing, that's mm. fair. <laughs> Typical for us. Let's go to show though, one day there will be something on that and uh, it'll be like, oh my god, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. We seem to be the only team guys that never ever pick anything up, but again, that's just that's just the way it goes. It's you know, we're not calling out anybody who does get EVPs all the time maybe it just comes down to the digital recorder mm. maybe we just need to keep trying between this one and the other one mm. maybe the other one is the one that will bear fruit but 
yeah, we tried, and sadly, it's a, uh, yeah, I think we'll try, we'll try one more when we get a, when we, we move out of here, but I think whilst we're in here, in these surroundings, just to actually, you know, listen, and if there is anybody in here with us, come and make yourself known. Maybe you recognise some of the machinery that's in here. Perhaps you can move towards one of the devices that's on one of the machines and just touch it and it'll light up and let us know that you're in here with us. There is anybody in here or anywhere in this building and you do want to come and talk to us, you try and make yourself known to us now please. Maybe try and knock on something. Copy me. Perhaps you can whistle. I'm also looking into that a bit more, but the first thing that's coming up is, I mean, it says Colton Mill. Yeah. The Colton Mill Medical Centre, it's in Leeds. But, looking at the area, it's on Style Hill Way. So there must have been some sort of mill in Colton, or some Colton Mill. Colton is a boy's name with British origins. The name Colton means swarthy person, coal town or settlement, perhaps referring back to the Industrial Revolution. Colton's meaning emits images of the working class from the Midlands and Northern England, where many coal factories were based. Wow, okay. So, no mistake, we're not in a coal factory or anything. No, but. but the reference to Northern England. Yes, yeah, and mill work, yeah. and it's like this hard graft. Right guys, so, I mean, yeah, we th we had to come in this room and try something, obviously mm. DVP, there's nothing on there, mm. but it was interesting what Adam's just discovered about that name, yeah. that to the Industrial Revolution, which let's face it, this was pivotal to that type of thing to, to keep things going, but um, but it's coming towards the end of the night now and it's uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to move up one floor to the level that seemed to call us at the start of the night when all the cap but we could yeah. see everything lighting up and it called us down there and we did get a lot of relevant stuff through so yeah what we're going to do is move upstairs and it looked like it was poking you in the nose then when I was doing mm. that move upstairs <laughs> and uh, and yeah we'll, uh, we'll carry on up there we'll do 10-15 minutes up there so come on Looks like you're about to give a fucking belter. I am, yeah. Fucking tune there. Just wait till I stand up, that's when the scream happens, Right. Okay, so we've come back on to uh, the second floor now. This is sort of where we have been kind of called to tonight, especially when we've been up and also when we've been down as well. Had a lot of uh, REM pod activity, cat balls going off, so we'll just set it up a little bit differently now. We've actually put two 
of our torches, one facing uh, into this room next to where the red pod is, uh, and the other one just literally right next to me uh, on here. And uh, that's quite good because you've got a bit of a line there on the floor, so if something does sort of break that kind of beam, we'll be able to uh, to see it. So, uh, and also we're going to try and EVP in a second. Um, so if there is anybody up here who do who does, so if there is anybody up here who does want to communicate with us, got a number of devices that are on the floor and around the, the room that you can go and touch and interact with. They'll light up, or maybe if you walk around, we'll be able to hear you or see you. But if you do want to use your voice, I'm going to put a device on now, maybe you can respond to me. If there is anybody here in the mill, can you maybe come forward and perhaps give us your name? You believe a family may have lived here? Are you part of our family? You may tell us the year that you lived here or that you worked here. Watch very carefully in the lower corner. The torch that's pointing the into the room of the lock off here. clearly moves. Or Have you been seen here? Can you come forward and just tell us maybe your name or something about you? I seen you, you yeah, well, <laughs> pointing the camera at you, seen you pause for, for a reason, like. <laughs> you must have been yawning. <laughs> so, like, a... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank Christ. <laughs> if there is anybody here in the mill, can you maybe come forward and perhaps give us your name? Can unfortunately um. so uh, that ends our investigation here at Mickle Trafford Mill um, and it's definitely been uh, an interesting one uh, from a point of view of the equipment that we've had um, yeah what do you think mate? yeah I mean listen right from the start guys we finished on this floor because we're in the middle now 
And right from the start, um, as we always like to do, it's, you know, it's upside down. We usually go bottom to top. Yeah. But because of you naturally starting the top floor in here, and um, we let the spirits lead us around this place, and that's something we don't usually have the honour of because yeah. we usually go around, we, we have a walk around, we say we'll do that room, that room, that room, and we work the episode out in our head. But I think tonight... I think the spirits had other ideas and they took us where they wanted to go. And I think it did prove it as well on the, on the live episode that we did from here that this second floor does seem to have something maybe intelligent that is trying to communicate through, definitely through the uh, the responses on the, on the spirit talker. And uh, yeah, I mean, perhaps even that it might not be something related to uh, the mill, but it might even be someone who is uh, dear to your heart as well. Yeah, exactly. It's it's a uh, you know, I can I can safely say you won't see me that emotional very often, but um, but I know that you guys will understand why. Um, the relevance just kept coming through, and who's to say it wasn't my dad? You know, jumping in the car and coming for a freebie, walk around somewhere because he loved his history as well. But um, but yeah, there was. You get the undertones that there's a, there's something that went on here when you go through what we got through the spirit box of just saying, you know, the, the, like a child, some, there was somebody who was oppressive against the children here who would have worked here. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be, uh, it'll be interesting um, to go back now uh, over the next couple of days and start digging into actually what we can now find out uh, yeah. about the place and see if it cross reference it to the investigation hopefully uh, certain names and certain things might uh, might come about but it's, uh, it has sort of uh, quietened down towards the last hour or so uh, and I think it is sort of time to, to wrap this one up but again guys thank you so so much for, for watching and supporting us and you know if you haven't already make sure just here you hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up as well on the episode and if you haven't click that notification bell as well yeah and once you finish watching guys drop us a comment underneath because we do reply to every comment helps us out a lot with the analytics but um but yeah we can't finish without saying a massive thank you to keris and jason whose name we had through the Esp yeah. the spirit talk as well tonight and all the guys that look after mickle trafford mill because this place survives because of the people volunteering. So, yeah, I mean, we'll leave all the details underneath. Whilst they don't open up to the public on a daily basis, you can go on there and you can book yourself in for a private tour around here. Why wouldn't you want to do that and then drop a little donation to a fantastic charitable cause? But, um, but yeah, for us, it does seem to just settle down. It's, it's bloody freezing <laughs> and it's late. Yeah, I think it's time to wrap it up and obviously again, if you are a paranormal team and you do want details to, to the Nickel Trafford Mill, drop us a message on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or Twitter, all your socials as well. And for you guys, make sure you're following us on all of them as well. And uh, yeah, I think again, great investigation, not too bad company. Uh, yeah, so thanks very much and we will see you on the next one. Yeah, thanks guys, take care. I usually put the lights on. Oh, yeah, I know. What the f is trying to find a really good joke for this moment but all could just find was just run of the mill kind of things. Hey Delta. <laughs> <laughs>